Now separate the piston from the connecting rod. Place a suitable screwdriver into the groove and lever the piston pin lock out. Push out the piston pin and remove the connecting rod. Make sure that the piston rings are offset 120 degrees. Then place the piston in the tensioning strap. Turn the engine vertically. This way you avoid scratching the contact surface when you install the piston. Note, the arrow on the piston must point in the direction of travel. Bring the piston in position by lightly tapping with a hammer handle. After you've turned the engine again, moisten the bearing shell in the connecting rod bearing cap with oil. The arrows on the bearing caps point toward one another. Also use new, pre-oiled screws. We've shown you the process in only one piston. With the installation of all pistons, follow the seven-stage procedure in the VIS document on screen. Next is the crankshaft radial seal on the transmission side. Clean the marked surfaces with suitable tools. Then use degreaser. After cleaning, the installation tool is used. Connect the first part with the screws provided. Then moisten the sealing lip and the outside edge of the sealing ring with oil. Spread the oil on the inside by turning and on the outside you can smooth it with your finger. With the second part of the tool, push the ring in position. Then the sealing ring is approximately one millimeter over. When this is done, remove the brackets again. In the meantime, you've cleaned the bottom part of the cylinder crankcase and have applied sealant. Don't forget to exchange the sealing rings. Then put on the casing. Use new and pre-oiled screws. The front four screws are shorter, by the way. Now when tightening, observe the tightening procedure, starting from the inside out. Install a total of 23 external screws. Next come the engine mounting and the pre-filled oil pump. Pay attention to the right placement of the chain. Next are the oil pan parts. Also seal using a silicone bead. Then come the external oil lines, and the flywheel takes its place again. Don't forget to apply silicone sealant under the crankcase. After you've checked the sealant in the cylinder heads for unevenness, fix the screws according to the tightening procedure. Also here use new and pre-oiled screws. Next, insert the sliding rails and bolts again. And the guide roller is mounted. After you've inserted the chain tension adjuster, set the engine to 40 degrees after the ignition TDC. Then insert the camshafts. Just as with the removal, please install the bushings carefully. Now set the timing of the camshafts. You check the setting by using these special tools. Once everything is correct, use the first camshaft adjuster. Don't forget to also insert a new spacer. And also make sure that the protection bolt is on top. 
Then put on the segment disc and tighten the screw firmly. Now you can remove the hold screw. There is a version of the camshaft adjuster without hold screws. For this you need special tools. Once the second camshaft adjuster is also installed, screw on the hold device. The clamping plate is next. Then tighten the fixing bolts with a torque of 115 newton meters and remove the special tool. The remaining installation occurs in the reverse order. With the assembly of the intake manifold, follow the tightening procedure. The engine is now repaired and can be installed in the vehicle.